think Megan Tonjes is going vegan. This is a word. This is a word. So how's it going y'all? So we're going for another drive. It's laundry day. It's been a long time since I've done my laundry and uh, there's a group of students coming to uh, Alt Space. I'm really excited. So we're basically gonna be inviting uh, eight new people into the vegan lifestyle. At least they're gonna be vegan while they're at the space. Who knows what they're gonna be doing when they're not. One thing I forgot to talk to you guys about yesterday. I was really excited because I'm producing this conference, the 22nd, 2017 Pedagogy and Theater of the Oppressed Conference is going to be here in Detroit from, from June 2nd through June 4th with a pre-conference from May 30th through June uh, 1st with Julian Boal, whose father was the, uh, was the founder of the Theater of the Oppressed in Brazil, was also a colleague of Paulo Freire. So those of you who are fans of Paulo Freire or Augusto Boal, um, if you want to come on down to Detroit from May th May 30th through June 1st, you get a chance to work with his son, who, who did collaborate. It's not just like, well, his son is like, you know, trying to like capitalize on the name. No, he actually, for years, would co-facilitate with his father. So he's he's well trained, and he's if you know, in terms of as far as I'm concerned, he's the principal practitioner in the world of theater of the oppressed but you know there are all there are also folks who will have their doubts there, there are also arguments that folks will have about that anyway so continuing where I was um, there is a gonna be a group we're hoping to work with a group called food not bombs and they're an amazing group that provides food for you know when there are actions when there are you know protest and you have a lot of people hanging out and they get hungry and they start wanting to leave well this group is amazing they will provide free food and you know one of the ways that they get that food I think they get some food freaking style but everything that they serve at least um, what I was told was they try to prepare only vegan meals and apparently sometimes because they got to get a lot of things donated sometimes the bread product will have like trace you know milk traces and things like that and so if that's the case they will serve you know products that have you know trace traces of animal products like like uh like dairy but uh they don't buy products that they don't buy things that have uh dairy in them uh, i don't know if i told i did tell you guys that i was going to do laundry well, let me see hold on now i'm pulling into the parking lot here so let me try to park safely. All right, here we go. All right, so hold on, hold on a second, guys. Let me do this. So right, food's not bomb. Food not bombs. So yeah, I'm gonna be. Po I'll post a video about them. I already have something in the can. I just haven't edited it yet for you. Um, and they were at uh, they were at a uh, an action that took place a couple of weeks ago outside of the immigration office here in Detroit. Um, so, so, I'm pretty excited because you guys know that I'm kind of smitten with Megan Tonjes. And yesterday I was binge watching because there's a lot of videos to, to binge watch when you talk about the Megan. Megan um, posts every day. And most of those videos are in their car. So, I don't know. I'm pretty sure uh, that Megan identifies as a female, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say she, and if I'm wrong, Megan, call me out. Call me out in a video. So, um, I love Megan. She calls, she, calls, she calls her viewers her BBs, beautiful BBs. Beautiful BBs. So, I guess I'm a BB of Megan Tonjes. Anyway, so I was watching one of Megan's videos, and um, at one point she was talking about this incident where there were a number of, I believe they were chickens that were going to end up being slaughtered. And she was talking about how really moved she was by it. And that she basically, basically was thinking about being vegan. I, I think that that's a long way off. And I'm gonna be realistic. I think it's a long way off for Megan. But that, that seed was planted, not only has the seed been planted in Megan's mind that she might go vegan, but she's planting that seed. She's got like over 200,000 subscribers. That's a lot of folks um, watching the videos 
who saw that and thought, wow, I could, going vegan? You know, the word vegan was spoken and it was spoken in a way that was positive and it was spoken in conjunction with like animal advocacy. So I feel like these tiny little wins when we, when we hear veganism being mentioned and it not being something that's being considered negative, that's something, that's something to celebrate. So y'all, I'm giving it up for Megan for shouting out vegans and for, you know, even mentioning the idea of going vegan. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, um, so I'm sitting here in the, the parking lot outside of the laundromat and this car just pulled up in front of me and there's these two ladies sitting in the car and they're looking at me and I'm running my mouth and they're laughing and I don't know if they think that this is somebody who is just not balanced or somebody who's on the phone or what have you, but they're getting a good laugh out of me sitting in my car. <laughs> Maybe I should go and do some vegan advocacy. Maybe I should go get them to go vegan. Anyway, I don't know. Um, so uh, I'm going to this laundromat because apparently the person who owns this laundromat is um, a very generous person who gives a lot to the community, is really engaged with the community. And um, there was somebody who were, the, the, the person was referred to me by Ms. King. And you know, I love me some Ms. King. And if Ms. King says, go to the coin laundromat down there on Lafayette, instead of the laundromat you've been going to, guess what laundromat I'm going to. So I'm going to this laundromat. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, I've been watching things. Um, so I, you know, oh man, I don't want to spend all my time being critical. Uh, do you guys know what's going on in the world, by the way? I think, I hope people have really been following the news, especially y'all folks in the U.S., but this is world news. Um, four countries, and I believe they're all in Africa, are on the brink of famine, y'all, on the brink of famine. And it is in part due to U.S., backed war in Yemen, right? A US backed Saudi war in Yemen, right? These, this is a conflict that was going on. It's not something Trump did, although Trump is in a position to do something about it and clearly isn't doing anything about it. Um, but it's something that happened in the last year of the Obama administration. And uh, they were warned that this was going to cause some serious um, strife in that part of the world and now we see that we're on the brink as, as I said we're on the brink of famine in four countries I know one of them at least is uh, Yemen I believe one of them is Sudan and I can't tell you right offhand the names but I'll put that information in the description box below but here's what's really sad about it it's another one of those things where here we are in the US with our huge you know all of our power you know, all of our butting in all over the world, all of our trying to protect the world and bring democracy everywhere. And uh, we have decided that we're going to cut the State Department by at least a third and cut funding to the UN when that's what's needed. If we want to avoid this famine, we need some serious diplomacy. We need some folks working in that part, in those regions doing some peacekeeping, sitting down, bringing partners to the table and discussing peace. And that's not happening. And those are things that people really should be getting on the phone. I know I made that one video where I was like, y'all get on the phone and call your, you know, call your politicians and tell them how you feel about these things. This should be constant, y'all. This is not something that you do once. Make it like a daily thing. Make it like while you're cooking dinner, while like your, you know, beans and rice are on the stove, heating stuff up, or if you're raw vegan, you know, while you're, you know, blending, whatever. It takes how long to send an email. You can already, you can have like a little thread set up where all of the names of those politicians are already, you have all of those e addresses in a group. All you have to do is click on it, have the names in the group, and just send, you can send the same email every day and just repeat the same information every day. There should be a barrage of communication. Yeah, so there's some corruption going on right now. And it's so funny because people will look at my channel and they'll, you know, there are people who call me a conspiracy theorist. I'm like, really? I'm just checking out the news. I'm holding back. <laughs> I'm holding back. This is just what's really happening. And all of this adds up to keep 
power with this tiny little select group who get to more and more do what they will. And if we're talking about trying to get like animals free, really? Do you think that's going to happen in this climate where, you know, vegans are the last, they're the last thing on people's minds. They're trying to like, you know, they're trying to see us basically die. We're talking about millions of people are now going to be without without health care. I believe the number is somewhere around 25 million who will be without health care in 10 years. So additional people without health care. So I don't know. I don't want to rant and rave too much. But this is just, again, this is a quick... Uh, check in. Uh, this is. I hope this is the last day that I'm going to be posting a long video like this on my phone. Um, I want to thank you guys so much because I posted that video yesterday and people were like, "Well, what's going to happen? I'm not going to. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be eating any animals. Don't worry about it, y'all." But you know, you know, things are looking a little bit messy, and I really do hope that you know some of you will become a little bit more vocal and you know call and put to task some of these, you know, people who consider themselves leaders in the vegan, you know, YouTube movement, you know, and call them on their, call them on their shit. Because it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Anyway, I don't have anything more to say. I'm not going to sit here and rattle off for another 20 minutes like I did yesterday. So that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself The world is a ghetto Big guns and dickies I love myself But it